My name is Jake Snyder, and this is Ambush in Baghdad. So, these back buildings right here are basically where the terrorists are ambushing the Americans, and the Americans are clearing out the buildings. So, but unfortunately, it looks like um, one terrorist uh, got one of the Humvees from an RPG, and uh, it's exploding. I love that explosion effect that you have there, using those different colored kind of yellow, orange, red elements. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, another thing back here is um, we got some surrendering terrorists in Saddam Hussein's uh, chemicals that they're doing. That uh, just chemicals that he was saying that were so bad in that, but they weren't that bad. Um, we also have an Abrams that had crashed a long time ago, and it looks like the skeletons are still there, but it looks like the terrorists haven't done much with it because there's nothing really taking off or anything, or like the caliber. Um, we also got these power lines, which stretch across over here, and since the Abrams hit the power line right here, um... It kind of just collapsed, and I don't. It's not really in use anymore. That's a great detail, though, just having it hanging like that. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, what are some of these other vehicles along here? Um, in in order, it is Bradley Lab Twenty Five, M One A Two Abrams, and this is just a normal Humvee that's been, of course, shot by an RPG. The one ahead of it is um. A cargo and also a uh, escort car from General Scorchoff, and in the front is a uh, um, Minnesota Bulls vehicle or a special um, special forces Humvee, and then way up in the front is a uh, basically a gun truck for uh, the terrorists, and then in between that is a suicide bomber. Trying to get the guy in the front, but I don't think he might make it. He might, he may, he might fail his job. Um, what, what's the action up on the rooftops here? I see you've got some of the kind of American soldiers advancing. Yeah, they are um, trying to kill, well, not really kill, but just trying to stop the terrorists from, just try to stop the terrorists from destroying any more of their trucks and possibly hurting uh, General Scorchkoff. Um, and then over on the second building to the right in the back is the leader, which is trying to stop this uh, drive out of the terrorist forces. Um, we got some uh, over some of the guys who have these hats right here are the ones that hold the RPGs, and you can see another one over here has it. Um, Got some of the guys have radios too, so then they can uh, tell the other terrorist forces that are on maybe the other side of a building or something to get low or evacuate or something. Uh, yeah, I, it's just a desert storm build that I thought would be a cool idea because I've been collecting these sets for a while now and I have a Brickmania book that's Desert Storm, so I thought it'd be cool to make this. Perfect. No, it's a really impressive layout. Tons of great details in here. One thing I love is down here you've got this like dilapidated truck vehicle build as well. Yeah, that's from a um, Lego set, but I've changed it up to my more of my liking. And um, near that truck is a um, whole fight with the cat and the mouse. So there's a little mini battle within the larger battle. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like a funny thing, <laughs> and um, we just kind of thought it'd be cool to do this. Uh, talk a little bit more about the design of the buildings, kind of how each of these came together for you, and the like combinations of pieces, the colors. How did that work? Well, um, we kind of looked online and saw how um, different colors, and since in Iraq most everything is tan, that's why a lot of Things here are tan and um, white, which down at the end there's a white building. And since it's like dilapidated and stuff like that, there's going to be a lot of uh, brick showing and uh, really mismatched colors of the buildings because of uh, either paint not being put on or diff raw materials. Mm -hmm. 
and um, and it's a very rare thing to have glass there because in some areas that I there's very rare areas so probably like in the very rich parts there is like glass but I don't you don't see very much of it in like the average or the poor population and this is like a mix between like this is like the average and then the richer population but not so rich to be like up in more known but this is Baghdad so it's basically going to be like all not fully dilapidated but it's going to be kind of destroyed war torn areas yes war torn and terrorists are it's just crawling with um terrorists Talk a little bit more about some of the minifigure designs on both sides of the battle here and point out kind of how those came together. So, um, well, we took, we found some, uh, on Bricklink, we found some really good torsos and stuff that would, terrorists would probably use, like the, uh, the a Afghans, or I, for, I forgot what they're called, but anyway. And they're, and they kind of just, they kind of disguise that so then, the American army doesn't find out about them and they all and it's kind of just kind of like a mix of um that and we also got some from like stuff in my own collection and um brick warriors the um, printed afghans are um from Mayfico mm -hmm. and kind of just the torsos and legs are mostly just from old lego sets except for these ones right here like this kind, those are from Minifig Co. And um, so on the other side of the battle, it is mostly like Minifig Co, Citizen Brick, and Brick Mania. And um, the guns they use are from Brick Mania because they're printed and um, just, but then in some areas like on this cal 50 caliber right here, it's um, Brick designers, so it's just like it's printed and it looks nicer on the Legos. So you're able to pull from a lot of different sources and yeah. design companies in order to uh, get all these guys and vehicles put together. But but they work very well together and it just it's nice. I like it. It's, yeah, it's a very cool build. Um, and some of these crates up here, like um, right here, are from Brick Designer, which they make very good stuff. Yeah. No, impressive work here. The whole layout looks great, and I'm glad you were able to bring it out to the show here. So thanks for taking us through everything. Yep, thank you too.